Hey everybody, my name is Kimmy. I've been on the carnivore diet for almost six months and I just had my lab work done. Stick around because we're going to go over the results. So going into my physical, I felt really good. I feel healthier, I feel stronger, and I was excited for showing my doctor that, hey look, I've lost a lot of weight, doc. I'm doing good. So sure enough, she had said that, oh, I see that you've lost quite a bit of weight. What have you been doing? You know, I know a lot of people are scared to tell doctors or people, oh, I'm on a carnivore diet. No, psh, screw that. I told her I'm doing the carnivore diet pretty much, only eating five to 10 carbs a day. Her response was, oh, wow. Um, yeah, the only thing is, you know, the cholesterol could increase. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. My cholesterol has been high anyway, for as long as I can remember. Um, it is concerning to me. You know, obviously I only know what I've been taught in my life. My dad has heart disease. And so that's been a concern of mine. But as I've learned and gained knowledge, I was expecting my LDL to go up, my total cholesterol to go up. I was hoping my triglycerides would go down. Um, and I was hoping my HDL would be a decent number. I also had my glucose, my levels checked, my fasting insulin, my A1C checked. I also had my HSCRP checked, which look, I'm not a rocket scientist. I don't know what half this crap means, but I know it's something to do with my overall inflammation, I think. Uh, so I had all those things checked. And let's just stop beating around the bush. Let's just go over everything. Random glucose was 81. My hemoglobin A1C was 4.9%. And honestly, looking back on my past blood work, that's been kind of where it's always been between like 4.9 and 5.0. Estimated average glucose was 94. You know, those are great. My random cholesterol was 262. And that's high. It is what it is, I guess. The triglycerides were 127, which... My triglycerides, I don't know, T take a look. I took a, s a snapshot of some of my past blood work on this stuff and um, my triglycerides have been lower, but they've been higher. And what's interesting is last year when I had my physical done in 2023, I was eating, if I remember correctly, I that's the time I was eating more of a keto diet. And some of my numbers seemed better when I was eating more keto-ish or keto-vore with... Uh, a little bit more veg in my diet. So I found that to be quite interesting actually. My HDL was 46. Again, it was quite a bit better last year when I was eating more keto. I would like the HDL to be up a little bit higher and I would like my triglycerides to be a little bit lower. Um, I think ideally you want your HDL over 50, I think. Uh, and triglycerides, um, I was hoping they'd be under 100. Still, I guess technically within the healthy normal range, but I was hoping they would be a little bit lower. My LDL was 191. Again, that's something I expected. And then non-HDL random was 216. One uh, lab work that I have no idea what it even is, my lipoprotein A was high at 79. I've never had that test done, so I have nothing to compare it to but I have no idea what it is. So somebody tell me in the comments. My HSCRP was 1.6 and I think that's kind of high, I think. Is it? Somebody tell me. But I think that has to do with my inflammation in my body. Now, again, I have nothing to compare that to because I've never had that test done before. You know, that that's really just a, a, a benchmark of a result and I'm gonna have to see where it goes from there on my next lab work. My thyroid was normal, uh, 2.36. My B12 was normal, 488. And my fasting insulin was four, which uh, was pretty good. So there you have it. Um, it's pretty much sort of what I expected. I'm gonna be honest though, I expected my triglycerides to be a little bit lower. I expected my HDL to be a little bit higher. Those are my two things. And then somebody tell me what lipoprotein A is. That one's, that's a head scratcher to me. I don't know. I look it up on Google and it basically tells me I'm going to have a heart attack tomorrow. That's basically what I get out of that. In other good news, 
Uh, my doctor took me off my blood pressure medication. That was a big win. I've been taking Lestartan for about the last three years. So, and that's something that I've been working towards getting off of. I haven't been taking it. And I've been checking my blood pressure at home and it's been consistently between, actually last night it was 113 over uh, 72. I think, and then typically it's between that and like 120 over 80. So far, I've lost 42 pounds. I've gone down, I basically went through my whole belt full of holes. I'm gonna have to get a new belt. Those are good problems to have. I've gone down two pant sizes. That's cool. I also, I bought myself a medium, a size medium shirt last week, a medium. And it fit, not tight either. It, it fit just right. What, a medium? And this, guys, come on, look at me. These, these are men's size clothing, okay? This is not women's, all right? So I went from a size 40 pants to a 36 now in waist. And I went from an extra large, but there were several pieces of clothing that I was getting in a 2X in men for tops. And now I'm between a medium and a large. What? So, you know what? I'm feeling pretty damn good. Not gonna lie. Feeling pretty damn good. My wife is also doing really great. She's lost like 35 pounds. Um, she's looking good. Looking and feeling good. You know, a lot of non-scale victories, but a lot of scale victories going on too. I don't know what to say about cholesterol. That's a very hot topic. I know that there's a lot of studies coming out right now that's basically going to tell people that LDL doesn't really matter at all. You can also lower your LDL by eating a sleeve of Oreos a day for seven days before your lab work. So how much I'm really going to stress about that is not much, to tell you the truth. Uh, if I felt bad inside or if I felt unhealthy, I would be more concerned. I Look, I've done past dieting and everything else where, you know, I do a low fat diet or calorie restrictive diet or whatever, but I feel sick. I feel like crap. And that's not how I feel right now. I'm sticking to it. But I'm going to be honest, I was a little, uh, a little surprised that last year's blood work was a slightly better. And I can't remember anything else I did differently between now and then other than just eating a little bit of veggies. Um, I do need to kick up the uh, strength training exercise. I'm not working out my muscles and uh, I need to probably do that a little bit more. All my other lab work, you know, the sodium, the all those other levels and whatever white red blood cells, all that crap was all normal. Um, there was nothing to write home about on any of that stuff. Really, I think I covered the most uh, frequently searched or discussed lab work regarding the carnivore diet and this is just this is me right this is my experience with it this is just another little piece of information that y'all can have happy to share it and i'm not dead and i don't feel like i'm gonna have a heart attack tomorrow knock on some wood all right guys thanks for hanging out see you on the next one